Hey everybody. Well, I'm out on my way out to stand for a uh, little after rifle season bow hunt. Uh, we decided that we wanted one more deer, so I'm gonna go try and, and punch a bonus tag here tonight, get a doe on the ground. But I wanted to take a second and talk about what I think is one of the most underrated nights to be out bow hunting. So it is November 15th. It was the end of the Minnesota rifle um, opener, at least in our area, November 13th. I think getting out a day or two after rifle hunting is one of the best times to be in the stand uh, with a bow. I've, I've went out the night after, which can be okay, but I think waiting two nights just based on camera inventory, giving it two nights to uh, kind of recharge, I think that second night after the rifle season is a phenomenal night to get on stand. Now, if you're going to do that, you need to have the right habitat and you need to have food. So if you're hunting public land, you want to be near those clear cuts, you want to be near those thick swamps where the deer push into when the, uh, the rifle pressure ramps up, but they also need to have a food source nearby because tonight, I guarantee you, the deer are going to be hammering the feed bag and getting out to those food sources. Normally on our farm, I would sit down by a massive swamp that we have that borders us to the east. Um, it goes for miles and that's where the deer push in during rifle. But as we've built up the habitat, the deer have held up more on the high ground and they're in areas that we've done some intense timber management. So where I'm going tonight is an area with some thick aspen slash. There's been deer activity on the cameras today in this area. It was, it was pretty quiet yesterday. So having that day to recharge I think was good, but it's been active today. I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm going to see some uh, some good activity. I'll be sitting over a brassica slash bean plot, and then we also have, as you can see, some combine corn in the background. That's going to be kind of adjacent to where I'm sitting, so I think they'll be in all three food sources tonight. But I think that night or, well, actually, probably two nights after the rifle opener can be one of the best sits you'll have with a bow, just because if you have the right habitat and you have food, the deer are going to be out because they haven't they have been nearly as active towards the end of that rifle season in most areas because of the pressure. So now they're going to, they, they hear that it's done, and they definitely uh, definitely take notice and uh, should be should be moving tonight plus we got great weather for for good movement as well with the snow falling uh, steady north wind um, I'm excited should be a good night all right I'll check in when I'm done well I wasn't able to fill a bonus tag but man did I have a fantastic hunt ended up seeing 20 deer um, wasn't able to get a doe in range but the deer were definitely relating to the thick cover um, with their primary mission being to, to fill their bellies. Uh, all in front of me here, I had a bean plot with uh, combine corn beyond it, and the deer were hammering both of them. Those are great uh, late or early to late winter food sources for them. A lot of high energy food in there. And given our the Minnesota rifle season is a nine day season, and it's a very intense season, the deer definitely miss feedings during that time because they didn't want to step out into these open food sources in daylight with the uh, the high hunting pressure in our area. So giving it a day to recharge and letting um, yeah the deer just kind of get acclimated to the rifle season being done and going out the second day after rifle season was a great tactic and is a great tactic if you have a short intense rifle season uh, like we do in Minnesota. So if you haven't considered bow hunting on the day or two days after your rifle season is done, I would definitely consider it. And even if you are just watching this video now and you want to go out day three after the rifle season, that could be a really good night too. Um, so yeah, just something to consider. One that I don't hear talked about a lot, but definitely a great time to uh, get in the stand. Y'all take care. God bless.